Even when someone is tangled in sin, Jesus doesn't flinch. He doesn't retreat in disgust or distance himself in disappointment. He steps closer, not with condemnation, but with compassion that disarms every excuse. Jesus never expected perfection. He came knowing people would stumble, that even his followers would wrestle with weakness, temptation, and guilt. Still, he came, not just to forgive, but to rescue. When others might turn their backs, Jesus stays. He knows the hidden battles, the thoughts no one dares voice, the cycle of regret. And yet, he doesn't walk away. He leans in, because he is the kind of king who touches the leper, who speaks peace to the ashamed, who lifts the chin of the one who can't bear to look up. Sin doesn't scare him. It's why he went to the cross. He doesn't wait at the finish line. He walks into the darkest corners to find the one who's lost their way. And when shame says, you're too far gone, Jesus says, you're exactly who I came for. His voice doesn't accuse, it invites, it restores. He is the refuge for the one who's fallen hard, the place of safety for the one drowning in guilt. He does not love from a distance. He kneels beside the broken, calls them by name, and leads them home. So no matter how far someone feels, they're never beyond his reach. Jesus doesn't give up on those he loves. Not in failure, not in fear, not ever.